it was the culmination of a three-year project. Um, people donated, and as we said tonight, that it was over and above our normal projects that we do, the day-to-day -day ministry, we did this on top of that, and we can only do that as obviously supporters allowed. And I think what was encouraging for me, Scott, you were upstairs with an auditorium cinema style seating, and there was about 150 up there and 350 down here. But you guys finished early and you saw we, we actually got a standing ovation and uh, I, that just blew me away, I didn't expect, because there was pretty heavy science in there. It was a long haul, yeah. 96 minutes. But I have just, I've, and this is no exaggeration, I've had people coming up to me crying, thanking us, and uh, that just makes it all worthwhile. Pastor David, just want to ask you a few questions real quick. Um, what kind of an impact does a documentary like this have on your life personally? I think it gives me some confidence that there are answers to the questions that are raised in science, but creation has a, a viable response to those things. Uh, I was a youth pastor for a long time, and questions about evolution and age of the universe was something that was, was often brought to my attention. and I really have never felt equipped to answer them. So, I mean, there's just really no putting a value on the type of information that you can get from this kind of DVD. I think it, uh, you know, answered a lot of questions and makes it um, more easy for me to defend, you know, creation in the Bible. It answered a lot of questions that I had, um, especially about the carbon dating and stuff that I've been thinking about throughout college and everything. I think that as a student that really loves science, um, it was down at a level that, level that I can understand. This gives me a lot of confidence in uh, sharing the truth of God's love and the reliability of His Word. What was your favorite part of the whole documentary? Oh boy, better question to ask would be what wasn't my favorite part. <laughs> nice. you know, I can, it's, it's hard to choose, it was just really epic. I loved it. Understand all of this is leading to uh, there is a Creator and the Creator came and died on the cross for us. To me, that's, that was the greatest part of the whole thing. Because really, if the universe and life didn't self-create, if it didn't happen spontaneously, then there has to be a Creator. And the Creator is not likely to be some little green man from another galaxy. The Creator is gonna be Almighty God. A lot of people, when they hear it's a creation documentary type thing, they're expecting something cheesy, something cheap, a, a church documentary they made for their church camp or something. But this was definitely way beyond something like that. It was very professional level. I think that that's going to have a big impact when it's presented to the public. It's powerful. It's strong. It's got so much stuff that it just kind of blows your mind. It's glaring problems in evolution, the evolutionary theory, and also just pieces of evidence for creation. It's, it's the age of the earth is really, to me, one of the biggest stumbling blocks for people believing the Bible. Because when you say the Bible says, most people just check out. But when you say that there is actual good proof for the things that the Bible says, then people are almost forced by their own presuppositions to listen because they put so much weight in science. So basically, when we look at the geology of the earth, we find that present processes do not explain what we see. Rather, what we see points to catastrophic processes in the past. And when we think about what those could be, it fits exactly with the account in Genesis of Noah's flood, which destroyed the whole earth. I think the real power behind this kind of resources is A, it helps Christians to strengthen themselves in their position, and B, it helps the people that are on the fence to see the light and hopefully be brought over. For those who are willing to engage and watch it, I think it can uh, open their eyes to things that they're closed to. Uh, like the video said, there's a lot of you know, faith assumptions in evolution, so I think this is a helpful way to propose and challenge those faith assumptions. Actually, it's just started. It's just started. Just this week, uh, I said on stage, we got an email from a supporter in the United Kingdom who said he'd given away 17 copies of the book to his scientist friends and to clergy in the UK that believe in evolution. So uh, it's kind of sit back and watch the feathers fly. Would you agree? Oh, I think it's going to rattle a lot of cages. I think this is going to make an impact on a culture that we haven't even realized yet. And I can tell by the response we had tonight, this is going to be a big impact on our culture. Thank you to supporters. Thank you for your support for CMI and uh, help us get this information out there because ultimately we want to point people to the Lord Jesus Christ uh, 
And that's what it's about. It's not about science. It's about the gospel ultimately. Thank you. Thanks, folks. See ya.